What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy B with Real Recognized Real, and it only gets realer from here. Now, in today's topic, we'll be discussing the age of Pisces, and I'm going to break it down for y'all. But first, I want to put a disclaimer out that the information I'm about to give y'all may or may not apply, so just take what it does and feel free in the comments below and let me know you guys' experiences having dealt with the age of Pisces. Also, want to give a shout out to all my fellow Pisces out there. Gang, gang, you already know we in the build done. Also, I want to give a shout out to all my two twos, my three threes, my two two twos, my three three threes, my three one fives, my three one six, my three one seven, three one eight, three one nine, three two zeros, and my seven seven sevens. And shout out to any other angelical numerical numbers that I may have forgot to shout out. Also, I want to thank everyone that came out to support the channel. Thank you. And those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell notification to be notified of my upcoming videos and content. And we're going to jump right in. Real, recognize real. 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 The age of Pisces. Now, this video is for all my fellow Pisces out there. Gang, gang, both sun, moon, and rising. And as you guys know, that Pisces is ruled by Neptune. And the, the totem creatures, the two fish, connect to the rod, one going upstream to the heavens and one going downstream to earth. And, and it's all brought together by a binded cord. Now, with that being said, just know we're talking about mutable water. Now, how this relates to history is long ago. Before about 2000 AD, we know that the age of Pisces existed and is coming back because a lot of times people say that the age of Pisces is over and some say that it has reached to a point where we are closer to the age of Aquarius. Now, what this means is we're talking about faith, intuition, meditation and using of psychic powers versus intellect. And significance that would be of the age of Aquarius. Now, the age of Pisces is very important because, as you guys know, earlier on in the earlier century of how this world became through the time of Christianity and before that, we all had morals and values that we followed from our upbringing and generations to come before us that taught us how to live. And that of such. But what became of duplicity and the joining of two realms, or some would say time, and some people would say the way the traditional way of the world was before we got here. Because as you guys know, the world is illusion. It's something that we cannot change, but only that we can experience it. So as we live, where which we know and we already have the intuitiveness to know that we won't live forever, unfortunately. But our spirit and our generation will continue on to live and it will be a compass for our offspring, for them to be guided as to how to navigate through this life, both spiritual and physical in a metaphysical way. So with that being said, just know the age of Pisces is still coming. And right now, there's a lot of different people that come together to congregate, just like us doing now on this TV or this realm, which could be considered as a way of electronically, but we all know that this gives us easy access to teleport this information to be able to join together in that same pool of that same ocean and that sea with other Pisces. With that being said, the age of Pisces is meditation. This is why a lot of times when people are going through tough times and needing of healing, they come to a Pisces or they come to someone that is suitable to pray for them or someone that could tap in to, for, to a different dimension and to manifest and bring things that are hidden to the light. Because everything that we know to be true, such as sicknesses and things that we know to heal us is always invisible. A lot of times we don't see the sickness that we may have but we can feel it and this is how pisces is now breaking it down to you guys what the two fish represent now like i said before in the process of my videos before they start as i say all the time the totem creature for pisces is the two fish connected to the court one going upstream to the heavens one going downstream to earth 
And when I say that, I'm talking about extremes. A lot of times people forget this. Like some people don't want to do things to the full extent. This is Pisces. This is why Pisces are built the way they are built. We do things to the extreme. So if it's love in the atmosphere that we are feeling and desiring, then we will go beyond that, which is love to the extreme. So they always say, if you're not going to do something 100%, then why are you doing it? In the comments below, let me know if you guys find this to be true. Now, with this duality comes deception. Those of you that expect everything to be on the forefront of the sign of the store that opens with everything that it entails, thinking that you're going to get all this up front, you got to be fucking kidding me. Now, a lot of times people don't understand when you go to a store, they have sales pitches. They have people that are hired for the job to make money. And these workers are there to sell. So they never said that these people are going to be completely honest with you. They never said that these people are going to sell you something that you need. A lot of, a lot of times what's presented to you is what is good for the company. This is what allows the company to continue to grow and to be able to make more and to distribute. This is not about the consumer as the way that the world wants you to believe. It's not about the consumer because even a broke man or woman wants something from the store. And a lot of times if it was up to the consumer with the intent that the consumer has the choice walking into a store to pick what they want, to know what they want, unfortunately, a lot of us are not fully aware of what we're really buying. It's all in your head. This is a mind thing. This is why the age of Pisces is way much stronger than what is of the age of Aquarius. Because in the intellect, we only understand where intellect comes from a computer. Or something being such smart of what we use today, such as a smartphone, we begin to deny the human brain as to what this particular materialistic thing could control everything and everyone rely on its source. But I'm here to tell you that even with electronics and intellect, even those things break, even those things have glitches, even those things don't always manufacture the way that they are supposed to come without an update. And I'm here to tell you with the human consciousness, you don't need to update or download anything. The mind knows as the mind goes, the body follows. Everything you have access to, you are already equipped with those skills. The whole thing of you not being able to use the tools and the skills that you currently have in mind is because you do not believe in yourself. With Pisces, we are here to bring about the change of the universe. The age of Pisces is still here, whether people want to receive it or not. This is why there's karma. With that duplicity in itself and Pisces being able to heal others and being able to transform things that are hidden into this realm of reality and to be able to teach others and to knowing what the spirituality and the spiritual awakening really means. We are here to transform the human, human mindset into a hybrid and to be able to utilize those skills in order to help others of which it holds. Now, the age of Pisces is very, very keen. So we talk about intuition. We talk about sensitivity. This, my friend, is not weakness. This is not the same sensitivity that a wound has. Now, this is the sensitivity of the spirit. See, Pisces sees the trap. No one else observes this. No other sign really pays attention to this because we are too trusty of our surroundings. We don't know why we do the things that we do when we travel through this life. We do things and we don't understand why or what we're really doing until it's too late. This victimhood that, this, that us Pisces embodies is not that we are feeling sorry for ourselves. The victimhood is there for us Pisces to get stronger and keener with the intuition because that of which that holds power and guides us, it needs to be 
practice lessons inside of our minds for us to utilize these gifts and make and have the freedom to make those mistakes in order to be vulnerable enough to accept the fact that yeah all of us has fallen victim to someone's intellect now as you guys know that intuition and sensitivity is way much more powerful than the significance of intellect because it only will take the skills of an engineer to fix a computer right and even though that computer may have been built with billions of dollars or not an engineer still needs to be there to fix those problems of which that computer entails because the computer is not smart enough to hold on hold on it to fully depend on itself without an update from a human mind so we talk about all these things of the smarts and we talk about computer electronics and those things being from Uranus, which falls into the higher octave of what controls Libra. Everybody understands this and no one really fully is aware of what's really happening. Deception is what happens to a person trying to outsmart someone that is very intuitive so let's talk about the totem creature pisces the totem creature pisces for pisces is the two fish like i said one going to the heavens one going to earth now you guys may not know but those two fish is a disguise for us pisces is that chameleon that changes its colors depending on what the season is. It's that defense mechanism within itself that protects us, Pisces. Having the ability to blend in in the crowd when it's time to blend in, things are not always supposed to be predictable. So that being said, those two fish oppose each other. The two fish in Pisces one has a separate desire than the other fish. One fish purposes to be one way and the other fish purposes to be another way. But see, us Pisces is way much more stronger than all the 11 signs before us. This is why we're able to shapeshift into those different frequencies and energies. Because at the end of the day, no other zodiac sign can keep up and figure out what's going on inside of Pisces. They don't understand it and they're afraid of it because this 12th house energy exposes what's hidden and is done through another dimension. And we're able to interchangeably come back to our 12th house energy to assess what we are dealing with person, place, or thing, or situation. But the problem that a lot of times when we begin to shift, we realize that we need to help others like I'm doing with you guys. We are on cloud nine. We are farther within those ethers in the sky beyond what is currently what you and I are used to. Where Pisces has to come back down to earth, which the other fish is willing but the problem is with this coming back down from the spiritual of how we have evolved mentally, physically, emotionally, and this is all on an advanced level. So having to come back down to earth, we must come back in a disguise. We must begin to have a rebirth to go back to save others because the Piscean has already visited those far out places through dreams and visions, through meditation. So when the Pisces knows that it must go back to Earth through that other fish, it knows that in all that power and all that intuition and sensitivity, which is a Pisces armor to protect them in their journey to save others, a Pisces must come through duplicity. And this 
my friend, is just like a porcupine. It's just like that hedgehog. The spikes on a hedgehog are there to protect itself. It's not the Pisces fault that you became de deceived because you didn't understand that that Pisces has that web waiting on its enemies. That Pisces has his web waiting on someone to try to sneak up or try to disrupt what that Pisces is doing. And that, my friends, the worst thing you could try to do to a Pisces is try to offset or try to manipulate the Pisces in doing your, your work or your agenda. The Pisces, like a spider, has eight eyes and also has defensive mechanisms that no one knows about. You would think that a Pisces would fall victim to something or a situation. But see, the Pisces already knows how to maneuver itself to be in that space or in that time frame. A Pisces that's already far off going to the ethers had to come back down in order to break things down to deliver the information, the knowledge, because knowledge is powerful. But you must undergo a spiritual awakening, my friend, to reach the ethers. And once you have, then you begin to realize, wow, if I've already evolved and reincarnated myself into this realm and I look down to the earth, which is not really a good place for me to be, no one having known all this information, having been able to meditate, having been able to use psychic abilities and be able to prophesy and being able to do these things. When we have to realize that we must use those same gifts to help someone else, we have to have armor. We have to have a way in to be able to infiltrate. This is why Pisces gets the bad rap of the bad guy. This is why the Pisces is always not trusted in the situation. And this is when it comes to self undoing. Like I said with the Pisces shapeshift video, we are here to undo. Yes. And a lot of times people don't like it. We are here to bring the chaos and we're here to bring the peace. We are here to stir things up because you don't be surprised when people start disappearing. Don't start worrying about, oh, what is this happening? What What is, what is happening? As you guys know, I'm sweating right now. It is very, very hot. But people are gonna say, oh, it's 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 very it's very very hot. Why are these forest fires happening? What is going on? This, my friend, is the age of Pisces. It's not gonna be safe. There's gonna be what was before. This all shall pass. No one's going to live forever. But when the fish goes upstream and sees the light, it understands that it would not have got to the light side without the dark side, the shadow side. A lot of you, a lot of Pisces out there are afraid to embrace the good and the bad within themselves, let alone understand that your shadow side guides you because What's familiar cannot affect you or deceive you because you know what the other side holds. We're in the realm of reality where we're trying to help others. We're trying to be transparent. We're trying to be not seen. We're trying to hide. We're trying to escape. The escapism in the Pisces is not because the Pisces is afraid. The Pisces is the last sign that every other sign has to go through. And in order for this to be 
fruitful and to be carried out, everybody must go through the 12 seasons. 12 seasons. And these seasons is not what people are aware of what they think this could be. Some say 12 storms. Some people say 12 lessons to bring about the age of Pisces. The age of Pisces is when people realize that they must repent. The age of Pisces is when people realize they can no longer be one dimensional. The age of Pisces means that you must choose a side. You are not your own. You did not birth yourself. The age of Pisces is knowing that there is a higher calling. The age of Pisces is praying for one another. The Pisces nature is to merge. The Pisces wants to bring about change. As you guys know, Martin Luther King, his moon sign was Pisces. And Pisces will wait. Pisces are the most pa patient sign. We are survivors of the universe. In order to live to see the ending result is Pisces. Pisces is the alpha. Pisces is the alpha and the omega. The beginning and the end. And Pisces knows itself like no other. And Pisces knows what has to happen. But Pisces knows this. The outer shell, the outer shell is what we call reality, right? It's what is around the orbital is one realm, meaning one fish. That second fish is time. And then what we know to be of humanity and one itself is relativity. Time relates to us all is why we experience age. And if we notice the age of Pisces never, never dies. The age of Pisces is spiritual. This is the mindset. If you want to look at every single meditation, imprint, image, understand this. The Piscean is one door. Enter one door exit. That's it. Pisces is complex and is a dual duplicity and it's a dual sign. So with that being said, the Pisces left retina is spirit. The Pisces right retina is earth. Understand this. This is why we can go into a different realm and see what's happening. And then what we can do is bring that, collect that and bring that into this realm. And this is what is happening right now. No one understands this because this is something you will never be taught in schools about this powerful thing that us Pisces have the ability to do. When we talk about healing, we talk about freedom. We talk about deception. We talk about confusion. It's not confusion. If you need a jump on your car, this is an analogy. You need a positive charge and you need a negative charge to start the battery. This frequency of positive and negatives. We see this all around the world. You cannot have land without water. You cannot have ice without the source. You can't have ice without water. You cannot have one without the other. It's Pisces. This is why they say, Pisces can be everything you want or everything that you hate. And this, this symbolism 
is whatever you hate in that Pisces is what you hate in yourself. Pisces is the cosmic mirror. Everything that you see in that Pisces is what you don't like about yourself. And why is this? Because we are humans. And to be considered of that much judgment that is placed on a person, depending on how they're treating you, how you're treating yourself, is the karma. Pisces is the sign of karma. Pisces, you are there because you are the karma to these people. Everybody that don't like you, you are their karma. You were born this way. There's, there's nothing that you can change about this. You are their karma. We are the beginning and we are the ending. And a lot, of, I keep telling everybody this, that whoever meets you is the sign of us to be that, and to um, being in that person's view or, or their eyes is to send that message that you must choose a side because your time is up. You're either going to change your life or you're going to visit the place on the other side. I put a disclaimer out because like I say, not everybody is spiritually woke. The things that I'm saying to y'all, I had to slow it down because the things I say to you guys is advanced. This is advanced. This is not for the mediocre. This is not for the guy playing the drums with the basic rhythm. This is a higher frequency. Now, doesn't matter if you don't want the frequency. Doesn't matter if you don't want the psychic powers. It doesn't matter what you and your purpose is in this world. You either going to do it or not. And everybody that, that's in the way will be out the way. We're talking about vanished, vanished cities. We're talking about ghosting. We talked about what was once there. The foundations are destroyed. We talk about hurricanes. This is Pisces. We talk about hurricane bimbo. We talk about hurricane this. Tsunamis. Pisces. Because the ending is near. Now it's up to you. If you want to change your life, then change your life. But what is not willing to change becomes destroyed. Because you're in the way. And as you know, whatever water hits, it destroys. And it brings about a new change. This is the age of Pisces. It brings about a new way of thinking. It brings about the revelation. It brings about the times of everything that's been prophesied. It brings about the great change. And water takes up space. And you need water to survive. I hope what I'm saying is, is touching somebody's soul right now. Pisces feeds his soul. In order to stay purified, they never say perfect. To stay purified, a, a Pisces must go off to itself. That's Neptune. Pisces must go off to itself to recharge, to refocus, to center itself, to get back into what the plan is to get back into what the agenda was to get back into the cosmos pisces must recharge must detach must swim off a lot of times people want to go with a lot of times people want to join the pisces on these spiritual journeys and not knowing that pisces is the most aggressive zodiac pisces is the most Aggressive sign. This is why Pisces has to disguise the aggressiveness. Pisces holds so much energy. It embodies 11 signs before it. But Pisces is ultra, ultra powerful. Very, 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 very smart. Very brilliant. 
Pisces is so beautiful. Pisces is very, very strong. I'm talking about survivor. I'm not talking about just a soldier. I'm talking about a survivor. Pisces understand what it's up against. It knows how to maneuver. It knows how to shape shift. It knows how to switch up. It knows how to be however it needs to be to keep that chameleon energy. A Pisces knows that it can't tell everybody what it's feeling and thinking. So just know that the age of Pisces is very powerful and it's coming to theaters near you. Whether you want to see it or you don't, just know that it's coming. And in that time, then that's when you will see the true peace. Because right now, everything's chaotic. Now, you got part one. I'll be releasing part two. So stay tuned for the next one. God bless and peace out. Real, 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 real